All science passages contain some descriptive paragraphs, and most will also contain additional tables and figures. Being able to interpret and use the information contained in them is essential to your success on the ACT science test. So what kind of information do you want to notice in tables or figures? Take notice of variables, units of measurement, and patterns. Remember, step two of the Kaplan method for ACT science is to scan figures, identifying variables and patterns. Identifying variables is tricky, so here's a way to define them. The independent variable is the variable that is changed in order to perform the experiment. The dependent variable is the variable that is changed when the independent variable changes. In other words, the dependent variable depends on the outcome of the independent variable. For example, if you measure the height of a bean sprout under full sunlight for 10 hours a day versus the height of a bean sprout under 5 hours of full sunlight per day, the amount of full sunlight is the independent variable, the variable that is controlled. The growth rate of the bean sprouts would be a dependent variable. Let's identify the variables in the passage we mapped in the previous lesson. Experiment 1. 25 Greeks, each consisting of 6 bats, were placed in 25 separate simulated caves. The environment of the caves replicated the natural habitat of the bats. Twice during nocturnal hours, a beam of light was sent into the simulated caves for 3 minutes each time. This procedure was repeated 21 times in the course of 3 weeks at varying times during the nocturnal hours. Throughout the trials, not one bat was observed to respond to the light. Experiment 2. 25 bats were placed in 25 separate simulated caves. The environment of the caves replicated the natural habitat of the bats. Twice during nocturnal hours, a beam of light was sent into the simulated caves for three minutes each time. This procedure was repeated 21 times in the course of three weeks, at varying times during the nocturnal hours. 18 of the isolated bats responded to the light with extremely agitated and nervous behavior. Seven of those attempted to escape from the research environment. What is the independent variable? The independent variable is the variable which is intentionally changed by the scientist, the number of bats exposed to the light. What is the dependent variable? The dependent variable is the variable measured in the results. In this case, the dependent variable is the bat's response to the light. Let's try one with data in a table. Take a look at table one. What does this table show? The effects of temperature on the rate of growth of two strains of microorganisms. What are the units of measurement? Degrees Celsius. What happens to strain A as the temperature increases? Its rate of growth increases as temperature increases. Great work! You need to get in the habit of identifying variables and patterns in figures and tables. Remember, you don't have to know the science behind any of the experiments. You just have to be able to identify patterns and locate key information. Now it's your turn to do this in guided practice.